You can't stop rock and roll. Hey there, rock and roll junkies. Charlie here with another Great Wolf review. This episode, Twisted Sister with their debut album, Under the Blade. Now, Twisted Sister is a band that I really didn't care for for the longest time because I hated the song. Uh, we're not gonna take it. I couldn't stand that song. So, I assume most of their discography was basically just like that song, just annoying and repetitive. So I basically just blew them off for the longest time. But people just talk so much about them. Just how, how great they were. I was like, they can't be that great. They had just like, what, two songs? That's it. So I was like, whatever, okay, I'll listen to some of their stuff and I listened to their early albums. And I just loved them. I just loved them. Them. I fell in love with them. I think Dee Snider's one of the greatest frontmen of all time. Great voice. I just, it's amazed me how good they, like, they lived up to the hype that people said. Just completely lived up to it. And Under the Blade is my favorite album they ever made. And it has my favorite Twisted Sister song on it of their entire discography. So this band just means so much to me. So let's get into it now. Under the Blade was released September 18th, 19. 82. Let's go into the first song, which is What You Don't Know Sure Can't Hurt You. This is one of the best intros on an album ever. It's, just, it's a thunderous opening. D sounds just so powerful on here. It's real loud, real metal, the guitars, the drums, the bass, everything is just flawless. It just sounds so raw and in your face. I just love everything. It's just so good. Just good evening. Welcome to our show. It sounds vocally like he's trying to uh, do like his impression of Alice Cooper on there. It just sounds so menacing. It's just such a perfect intro. It's just so perfect. Let's go on to the next one, which is Bad Boys of Rock and Roll. The intro, the, the drums remind me of. Uh, we're not gonna take it a little bit. It's like I hear a little bit of that there. But besides that, this song has a very cool riff. It, I didn't like the song at first. I didn't. I felt it was a little, a little uh, too slow for me. It took some time for me to warm up to this one, but now it's, it's one of my favorite songs of Tristan's Sister. I just love it now. The lyrics are great, and it has a very melodic solo that I just love. Great song. Let's move on to number three, which is Real For Your Life. I love the slow intro on this, it's very slow, and it speeds up, and it just has this great riff going throughout it, and it's just such a good, powerful, loud song, great song, number four, Sin After Sin, great riff again, another great riff, I love the vocals, like, when it goes, for committing Sin After Sin, do 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 do, I love that amazing soul by Eddie on this one. Such a good solo. Oh my god, and then D scream near the end, it's just perfect, flawless. Perfect ending to the perfect song. It's so good, such a heavy song. And this whole album is just so heavy. It's just heavy metal. Like when you think Tristan's sister, because of the way they dress, you think like glam, and I guess they were glam metal, but you think of more like poison, you think of glam. Things like, uh, giddy, but stupid things like that. Or like love ballads and things, but Tristan's sister were just really, really, Heavy, like real heavy. That's something I just didn't expect. I expected stupid things like "We're not gonna take it," which uh, now I like "We're not gonna take it." But back then I just hated it. I just thought it was gonna be more of the same. And Twisted Sister really are just heavy metal at the best. Let's go on to the next song, which is "Shoot 'Em Down." Now this, this is my favorite Twisted Sister song of all time. I love this song. Every time I hear, it, I gotta hear it again because it's just so perfect. It's so good, it just pumps you up this song. I, from the very beginning he's like, come on boys! Oh my god, D here is perfect, as always. He's just so perfect here. And then JJ solo, it just blows me away. Every time I hear it, it blows me away. I'm just amazed at JJ's playing on this one. It's just so metal, this song, throughout. I love how the chorus repeats. And I love the, like, the clapping, the cheering at the end. It's just so fun, such a good song. Love shoot him down. We go on to the next one, which is Destroyer. I love the effects in the beginning. Uh, I don't know if it's like a breathing or like a machine or something. You know, or like a monster. 
but I just think it's so cool. It really adds to the atmosphere of it. This song is just real heavy. It's so evil. It's so raw. It's so twisted sister. It's so dirty. And it's so fun. Love it. Number seven, title track, Under the Blade. Love the riff. I just love the riff so much. The drums, so heavy here. AJ's playing is just like gunfire. Another great solo from JJ. Oh my god. And then D screams. Again, it's so raw, it's so metal, it's so perfect. Number eight, Tear It Loose. Great drums. Drums kinda, kinda reminded me of like Painkiller or Judas Priest, but of course this came out years before that. You know, it has like that intensity. It's a real fast song, it's a real fast song. I love the speed on it. Pat Dual solos, which is something I did not know until I did research on this album. But on the left, it's JJ's solo, and then on the right, it's Fast Eddie Clark from Motorhead playing, which explains the speed. I didn't know that, but it's just a cool solo. I didn't know it was JJ and Eddie Clark doing it. I thought that was so cool that they got him to be on this album. It makes this album even better. It's like this album already perfect, and then you got Fast Eddie Clark on it. It's just even more perfect. Love Tear It Loose. Let's go on to the next, number nine. Day of the Rocker. Now this is the final song. It's kind of slow, but D sounds great on this. And this is my least favorite, I'll tell you. It's my least favorite. I think it's a little too repetitive. It has this, like this bluesiness to it. And it has like this bluesy solo coming from Eddie. I don't... I just don't, it doesn't move me. It doesn't, like the, the rest of the album is so high energy, so in your face, and this one I feel like, this is like filler, it really is. I feel this is filler, it's sad to call this filler. It has moments that I like for, for the most part. You know how I feel like an album should have like a very big, strong finish? This does, doesn't do it for me, it's not a strong finish. I don't agree with this being the last song. But overall, I think this is a great album with or without this song. It's a great album. And this was produced by Pete Way, who was the bassist on, on, uh, from UFO, which I thought was so cool. And they got Pete Way to produce this, and they got Fast Eddie Clark on it. So, <laughs> I just thought that was the coolest thing. No wonder I love this album so much. No wonder I love Twisted Sister even more. And this has been a pretty, pretty quick review compared to the other ones. And I mean, this is a pretty quick album. I just think. Let's wrap it up. This is one of the best albums I've ever heard. One of the greatest debut I've ever heard. One of the best bands I've ever heard. I love Twisted Sister and I love this album. If you haven't heard it, you gotta hear it. You gotta hear it. Don't put them down for being part of the GLAD movement. They're one of the best things ever. Ever. That's all. So let's move on to my pick of the day. So for this week, the album I pick is... Motorhead's Bomber. As this Bomber is one of my favorite albums ever. It used to be my favorite Motorhead album, it's not anymore. But if you want to listen to more Fast Eddie Clark, you gotta listen to Bomber right there. If you haven't heard it, hear it if you have, hear it again, because it's Motorhead. But that's it for today. Thanks for watching, and remember to stay metal, stay devil, and stay evil. Alright.